In this After Effects tutorial, we'll be learning how to create this mixed media collage style animation in After Effects. Let's get started. Once you import your clip, go to the effects and presets and type in posterize time and drag and drop this effect and change this to 8 and you'll have this stop motion style. Selecting on the layer using the pen tool, draw a mask around the shoe and you don't have to be super precise about this so just like this you can draw a mask and hit M on the keyboard set a mask keyframe hold down shift and page down once on the keyboard and you're gonna refine the mask make sure you cover the entire shoe like what I'm doing right now you have to adjust all the points like this You'll have to repeat the exact same step for the rest of the clip. I'll just fast forward that and I'll come back once I'm done with this. Alright, once you're done, select all the keyframes. Right click on the keyframe and select this toggle hold keyframes. In that way, you'll have a stop motion style. Select the layer, hit enter and rename it shoes. If you haven't followed us on Instagram, go follow us on Instagram and join the Telegram channel to get updated with upcoming tutorials and be a part of the Motion Designers community. Select the pen tool and we're gonna zoom in and we'll try to mask out this logo. We'll just draw a mask like this. I'll just fast forward this. All right, once you're done, hit M and the mask to to subtract so you'll have a hole there set a keyframe for the mask and we're gonna trace this mask frame by frame like this so move few frames and I'm going to double click on the mask and I'll try to reposition it so I'll change back this to none so that I can see the mask here so I'll adjust this and I will try to follow the shape of the logo Hit page down to mask out frame by frame just for a couple of milliseconds. And once you are done, duplicate the layer by hitting Ctrl D, move it down and hit enter and I'll rename this paper. Hit M to bring up the mask, expand this and let's go inside mask expansion and we're going to increase that. Go to the effects and presets and type in fill drag and drop the fill effect and go to the effects and presets again and type in roughen edges and apply the effect and you can adjust the roughen edges according to what you want change the color back to your desired color make sure both layer are 3d and turn off the motion blur so that you can work faster drag and drop the background layer hit p on the keyboard Hold down Shift, R, and S. Set a keyframe here. Select the paper layer, hit U on the keyboard, and go to this keyframe. And we're gonna set a blank keyframe for the scale position rotation. And we're gonna scale down the background. And we're gonna move to the next keyframe, set a keyframe. We're gonna scale it up and reposition the textures and find a random spot so that we have a random variation in the texture and i'll do that for the rest of the timeline like what you can see here make sure you choose a random spot on the texture once you're done select all the keyframes right click on the keyframe and we're going to choose the toggle hold keyframe hit t on the keyboard hold down alt and click on this and type in wiggle 5 comma and 10. Make the background layer a 3D layer as well. Go to layer, new, and we'll create a camera. Hit OK. We'll go up to layer, new, and we're gonna create a null object. Make that a 3D layer, and go to two views, and make sure you're on the top view, and select the camera, and parent it to the null object. Select the null, hit P, hold down Shift and R, and move forward a few frames and set a keyframe for the position and orientation. Come back and in fact, I'm going to collapse this and I'm going down to the 
bottom layer and change this to BG for background and I'm going to create a new null object and move it just above that layer and parent that to the null and make this null a 3D layer hit P on the keyboard and move it in the Z axis away from the camera so you can move this away from the camera hit S to bring up the scale and scale up to fit the composition select the null object hit U and you can dolly in the camera towards the logo make sure you dolly the camera inside the middle the center of the logo you can always adjust the position for that the X and Y position and I'm also going to add a rotation orientation keyframe and I'll try to adjust and make sure that it dolly out from the center of the logo you can always add another keyframe somewhere here you can adjust the position of the null so that it dolly out from the center of the logo all right once you're happy with that collapse that and I'm gonna select these two layers hit M on the keyboard to bring up the mask and I'm gonna change this mask back to subtract and I'm gonna change the other one to subtract as well go few frames ahead selecting on the shoe layer we will split the layer by hitting ctrl shift and D and select the upper layer hit M on the keyboard and I'm gonna change this mask 2 to none you can change the color of the layer to yellow and go to view 2 again and I am going to duplicate this few copies by hitting ctrl D a few times select all the layers and you're gonna move the position of this layer to the Z axis away from the camera and I am going to offset the position of these layers in Z space so a random offset like this so that we have some depth inside the shoes select this layer hit ctrl D to duplicate and change the color of the layer to blue and I'm gonna go to the effects and presets now and I'm gonna search for cartoon just type cartoon and drag and drop that effect on that layer you can play around with this cartoon effect like what I'm doing here you can go down to advance and you can dial in some numbers and come up with your own look once you're happy hold down shift and page down once and we're gonna split that by hitting ctrl shift D shift and page down once hold down alt and open square bracket to trim the layers select this layer go to cartoon this time I'm gonna go and select another effect I'll just play around with this maybe fill and edges and I'm gonna go forward and do the same ctrl shift D hold down shift and page down alt and begin square bracket and I'm gonna change the settings of the cartoon effect to a different look and I'm gonna repeat the same steps throughout the timeline the whole idea of this is to overlay a random effect on top of the normal timeline all right let's make the text animation let's add the text and we're gonna drag in the textures just below the text and hit F4 and parent this track mat to the text layer and parent it to the text layer collapse this go to animate add a position I'll go add a rotation again and I'm gonna come down here and add selector and wiggly rotation to 5 and Y position to 5 as well 
can see here, you'll have a very smooth animation. So I'll go to the effects and presets, type in posterize time, drag and drop that effect, and change the values to 5. Collapse this, hit F4, and make these layers 3D. And we're gonna move the position of the text just like we did for the shoe layer. Go to two view and we're gonna drag the Z axis towards the camera. So we're gonna bring that closer to the camera so that we have some depth. So I'm gonna bring it closer, even closer to the camera. And I'll adjust the position of the text so that the camera dollies out from the letter D. Select the text layer, duplicate this and shut on the eye. Change the color to your desired color. I'm gonna choose red. Go to the effects and presets and find preset called typewriter and drag and drop it here. Hit U to bring up the keyframe. And I'm gonna adjust the timing of the typewriter closer so that the effect, the reveal, the text reveal happens faster so you have this effect select the paper layer go here and trim the layer by holding down alt and begin square bracket go to the project panel and drag in the texture on top of everything and change the blending mode to screen watch this video on the screen next to learn more about motion design this is motion designer and i will see you in my next video Thank you.